The Butterfly Effect, 2004 sci-fi drama starring Ashton Kutcher and Amy Smart. It's quite popular on the ever-present lists of mindfuck movies, time travel movies, movies which will break your mind, etc. I haven't checked it out uh, before now, and having now finally done so, I think it's okay, but far from being as great as some people would have you believe. The story follows Evan across several different time periods, early childhood, teenage years, and finally early adulthood. Throughout his troubled life, Evan has issues with weird blackouts that happen to him when he's stressed out. Um, he seemingly stays awake during them, but has no memories of what happens until he you know, comes back to his senses. Years later, in college, he finds out he can use his old journals to go back in time to those memories and act during those blackouts, causing changes to the history, to, to what happened. So he changes one thing in the hopes of fixing the life of one of his childhood friends. And upon going back to the present, he finds himself in an entirely different timeline. The titular butterfly effect means that a small change can have great impact on the lives of everyone around him. And upon finding out that the situation is still not ideal, he continues <clears throat> to go back in time and cause additional changes which have these cascading effect that sends him across different timelines. So I think it's a fairly engaging movie. It has a, central, has a good central performance from Ashton Kutcher and a really great one from Amy Smart, uh, who has effectively plays several different versions of the character. Uh, some creative special effects uh, and editing also help put you into the mind of the central character, hopping the different realities. However, I think that as soon as you start to think about the plot mechanics for about three seconds, uh, the film just completely falls apart. It seems to set up its own internal rules of time travel, but never actually follows them. So, in some scenes it's clear that the blackouts were caused by Evan going back and taking control of his younger body. But if he was always there to cause them, so to speak, how come the original timeline existed in the first place? Was he there without changing anything? Secondly, sometimes it appears that each of the changes works on its own, uh, creating a completely separate timeline. But sometimes these changes seem to compound upon one another. So, you know, which is it then? Just, just decide. The film contradicts itself multiple times in this regard. And finally, there are some just really egregious things, like the prison scene, where he goes back to the past and injures his hands. And upon going back, we are told that the scars just appeared on his hands in real time, in the present day. But if he hurt himself years back, wouldn't he always have had them? So what is going on? Uh, so, yeah, it's pretty confusing, and I think the creators themselves didn't really much care about the consistency. Normally, that would be a huge problem for me, but I will admit, in this particular case, uh, it still didn't prevent me from kind of enjoying the film, because it manages to be fairly engaging anyway. Be warned, though, that it's pretty fucking depressing. Uh, there's very little levity and optimism in it. It's just miserable all the way through, right up until the ending. <clears throat> and by the way, there are four alternate endings which were shot. Uh, the one I saw is, I think, the theatrical version, the official one, which ends with Evan walking away from Kaylee and somewhat fixing things in the end. But there is a version which ends with him strangling himself with his umbilical cord in the womb. So, yeah, pretty, pretty dark stuff. So, is it a great, smart sci-fi movie? No, I don't think it is. Uh, mainly because of how inconsistent it is and, and, and messy it is with its, with its own logic. But it manages to be a fairly decent way to spend two hours anyway.